Hi Taurus, welcome to your general reading for the first half of October. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need, need about me, personal readings, decks I'm using, social media, past playlists, tons of stuff there. So please do go check that out. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel is very much appreciated. So thank you, thank you so much for that. All your support really does mean a lot to me. Helps to uh, grow the channel, help it grow and flourish so we can get these messages out to the people that need to hear it and being a part of that. So thank you, thank you so much. Okay, Taurus first half of October. Hope everybody's doing well. Coming into the fall season already. I'm decorated here for Halloween already, so happy early Halloween. I'm at a new angle. I have a new mat for my uh, table here with my logo, so I'm much more comfortable at this angle. So I hope that everybody can see the cards okay. All right, so Taurus. Let's see what we have for Taurus. I will read this as a general reading, but if you can fit it into your life in any way, then you're more than welcome to do that. But I will um, read this as general. All right, so this is a Zodiac Oracle. Those returning know how this works. Those that are new, um, if you don't resonate with what comes out here, that is totally fine. This is sort of like a little extra bonus. So what do we have for Taurus? We may get an energy, element, or planet see what we have for Taurus. Uranus, which is Aquarian energy. Some of you could have an Aquarius around you in some way, shape, or form. If not, that's totally fine. Could be a family member, friend, co-worker, anybody. If not, that is totally fine. And Uranus is all about the basic human needs. It's about uh, changes also. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. You know, all the basic needs, you know, hunger, sleep, desire, sex, um, you know, love, friendship, sleep. I mean, I think I said that, but um, any of the basic human needs. All right. So let's see. Let's see, or you could be going through a change right now also. Let's see what's going on through Taurus, with Taurus. Oh, there you go, welcome the new. And I just said, you may be going through a change and Spirit's like, yep, here it is, welcoming the new. If you can see that, I don't know if it's blurry. Okay, so welcoming the new. So something here, you're welcoming the new going through a change. Let's see what's on the top here. Heavenly signs. So I don't know if that's a message for anybody. If you're receiving, um, if you're finding random things like repeatedly or you're seeing certain uh, numbers repeatedly, animals, um, smelling certain scents, anything like that it could be signs sending sent down from heaven from your past over loved ones or just your spirit and angel guides so let's see what's on the back back of the deck <laughs> body changes so for some of you you may be going through body changes hmm so i don't know we'll see how that plays in if you're getting more fit or losing weight or you know, and body can also mean the mind. Maybe uh, you're going through a transformation in your mind also. If that makes any sense? All right, so I don't know, we'll see. And I did notice under that we had um, leaving. So I don't know if there's something that you're leaving behind. And under that we have um, healthcare change. So some of you and self-care under that. <laughs> wow. So, wow, there's something heavy here with, um, let's see if I can get all these, with some sort of, I'm feeling uh, big changes in your health, self really 
uh, self-care, body changes, health care change, leaving old patterns and ways behind. Wow. Heavenly signs. Maybe you've had passed over loved ones that um, went through the same sort of problems you did, and now they're sending you signs from above supporting you. It's like you're welcome in the new, the change, you know, ridding yourself of old ways, old habits, if that makes any sense. Wow, so this is going to be, I think, a very health-related change type of reading. So what is the energy for Taurus? First half of October. Eight of Pentacles. And there's your energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Mastering your craft. Working hard. Putting in the dedicated eff effort. So you're working hard here at making some sort of change. And I feel like it has to do with your health, your self-care. We have three cards here of self-care all right the hierophant and there's your energy taurus coming in here so stay committed this is about commitment um moving forward doing what's just and right morals values faith spirituality that could also be the heavenly signs there also um you know like i said your Angels, your spirit team could be sending you signs along with past over loved ones. And this is telling you to stay committed and dedicated. This is dedicated effort and committed on your path that you're on. And welcoming the new and making this change for yourself. You know, if you're overcoming addiction, if you're losing weight, if you're eating healthier, um, whatever it is here, or just having a more healthier lifestyle in general. All right, so the first card I've seen here was the Eight of Cups, so water energy here. So yeah, you're walking away from that old pattern, that old lifestyle, that old way of living. It's no longer serving you. And you're dedicated and committed moving forward here. I do have the Moon energy here, Cancer Pisces. Uh, this is about lies, deceit, um, not knowing all the facts, not seeing things clearly. So... Let's get one more. I don't know why that's here. This is to clarify your current energy here. Your main energy is working hard on yourself, working hard, putting in that dedicated effort, and also committed to it and leaving and walking, totally walking away from those old patterns, old habit, habits, old ways of living. The Hermit. Wow, so we got two major arcana here. So here's the hermit energy, Virgo energy. So with the moon and the hermit here, um, I'm getting an energy of maybe you were like deceiving yourself, lying to yourself that everything was fine when you knew, wow, <laughs> this is about going deep within, going deep down, but you knew deep down inside here that some sort of change had to be made here. You knew that within yourself. So this is going in, reflecting, doing deep inner soul journey work here, introspecting, introspective work, and really digging deep here. Finding your way, finding your light, deep soul searching that you just couldn't deceive yourself any longer of your situation. Wow. Now really putting in that dedicated effort and moving forward and staying committed, leaving behind, walking away, because we have leaving over here and clarifying that is leaving, walking away from this pattern, lifestyle, whatever it was for you that was no longer serving you. And if it's not um, like addictions or it could be anything, you know, maybe, you know, playing video games 24 seven, maybe um, gambling. Um, it could be anything really. All right. I wouldn't be surprised if we get the devil that shows up. <laughs> I didn't want to say it, but Spirit just told me, so it may or may not show up. But All right, so let's get your actual situation for Taurus. Actual situation for Taurus. The Nine of Wands. Yep, okay, that makes sense. What else in your actual situation? The Hangman and the Nine of Cups. So... Nine of Wands, fire energy here. You know, wounded worry. It's been a long, hard struggle and fight. But now, you know, you're persevering on and you're not giving up and you're fighting on here. 
the hangman right in the middle of your spread, Cancer Pisces. So, you know, seeing things from a new perspective, you know, no more lies to see and not seeing things clearly. Now, this is taking a pause, taking a break, hanging back, seeing everything clearly and um, seeing things with new eyes, a new way, a new perspective. Almost is like the hermit energy there in a way. And then you have the Nine of Cups. So here's wish fulfillment. So for some of you, this could have been overcoming um, drinking because you see all the cups here, Nine of Cups. Uh, doesn't have to be though, but this is wishes and dreams coming true, happiness and joy. So yeah, fighting and persevering on, you know, seeing everything in a new way. Probably, you know, if you're overcoming addiction, you're seeing everything totally in a new way. Um, if not, it's just having a new perspective on life. And now you're moving forward. So with that Eight of Cups energy to happiness and joy and wish fulfillment in life. Wow. So. All right. So let's get more clarity on this. For you, Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. What else for Taurus? First half of October to clarify your situation here, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. What else for Taurus? Judgment. Scorpio energy with the Judgment card here. I don't know if you can see that. Judgment and the star. So, wow. So, here's forgiveness. Here's, uh, can be resurrection of the past doesn't have to be, but this is making a final decision, a final judgment call, and asking for forgiveness. Maybe you had to ask for forgiveness from people around you, especially with the moon. It's coming under right, in, right under the moon energy here. So if you deceived anybody in any way in the past, now you're asking for forgiveness from any behavior. And with the star right over here. Wow, it's, is the hermit in the star. So this is divinely guided energy for you. You're on the right path. You know, stay focused, stay clear. You know, keep going towards the light, the healing energy of the star. Um, faith, hope, optimism, patience and balance, divinely guided energy. It's also wishes and dreams coming true. So you have two cards of wishes and dreaming, wishes and dreams coming true. So I feel like now that you have an open, clear mind and you're making positive changes and you're in a more positive mindset, you can move forward now is with the Eight of Cups and you'll have blessings come into your life and you're going to have these things and wishes and dreams coming true that you never imagined because you changed the karma, the direction in your life into a more positive direction. Wow. So I feel I definitely feel like that spirit talking through me because that's like, wow, that's big messages right there. So your actual situation is making a judgment call to make these big changes, staying committed and dedicated and focused, seeing everything from a new perspective, and uh, having wishes and dreams and coming true and healing, forgiveness. So your advice moving forward, you do have the Nine of Swords here, which is air energy, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is stress, worry, anxiety, fear. Maybe being up at night, can't sleep, worried about something here. But the advice is not to worry because you do have stability here. Four of Wands, this is stability. This is the basis foundation in your home life. Or this is just, you know, your uh, foundation within you. Your home is you, is yourself. So having the stable foundation here within yourself. So your advice is don't worry, don't stress, don't have fear of any kind, whatever that may be for you. There's no need to worry because you will remain stable and grounded as long as you keep going on this right path, this right journey. Oh, okay, so let's get two more to clarify your advice here. For you, Taurus. Oh, we have the Eight of Swords. Not we have the Eight and the Nine of Swords now. One more, Taurus. The Ace of Cups. Wow. <laughs> so, to clarify, 
here, your advice. So now we have the eight and the nine of swords. So again, eight of swords, mental entrapment, being stuck in your head, can't get out of your own way and being stressed and worried and anxious with the nine of swords, worried, fear. You can get out of this mental entrapment because you're not really bound. You're loosely bound and you can break free at any time. It's just your choice to stay in that mindset. But you can break free of that because you have the Ace of Cups here. This is divinely guided love from source. And this could be the heavenly signs from above your ancestors, your love, passed over loved ones, your spirit team, your angel team, all from above here sending down their love, peace, harmony, um, compassion. This is a brand new beginning in life, divinely guided for you, handed down to you. As long as you stay on this right path, get out of your head, your mind, fear, why you have fear and worry, I don't know. You will remain stable and grounded as long as you keep going in the right direction. And divine is here to support you with all the love and support that you need. And you could have new love coming in also. Um, this is right under the star. Look at that. I placed it right under the star. So, wow. So the star here from the heavens giving you this divine cup of love, of support, compassion, peace, and harmony. Unconditional love from above, from spirit, from source. Wow. So, I mean, you could have an Aquarius around you also. I mean, we do have, um, see, for the majors, we have Cancer Pisces. We have your energy with Taurus. We have Cancer Pisces again. We have Scorpio. We have Aquarius. We have Virgo. Okay. Oops. So let's get your outcome. And this just flew out. The Three of Swords. So that's, you know terrible pain and heartache here so you know maybe you know whatever you're overcoming whatever was you know your situation here you know maybe you had you know a lot of health issues here you know with the three swords in, in the heart area I, I don't want to you know give like health predictions or anything like that but maybe for some of you you had serious heart and health issues here so I don't know, or this is just, you know, the heartache and pain from others around you because of your ways and the things that occurred. Um, but I don't know, let's see why. And I didn't really ask when that flew out. So I'm actually gonna put it back because I usually ask before I take any and I didn't even ask. So I'm gonna, and if it's meant to come back out, it will. So what is the possible outcome here? I just want one to start for Taurus, first half of October. What is the possible outcome in their situation for Taurus, first half of October? And I think this one, the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, and that is your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So look at that. You will be stable, sturdy, and grounded here. This is somebody who's very grounded, the stable, the secure. This is growth, abundance being very smart and practical here in your energy. So that's a nice energy. That's almost like Emperor Empress energy. You know, standing your ground, being very uh, solid. So yeah, and there's no need to worry because you have that right before one. So you don't have to have mental blockage, stress, anxiety, or worry. So let's clarify for your outcome, the Queen of Pentacles for you, Taurus. Okay, so, oh wow, <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe this tour. So we have, <laughs> these just flipped out together. We have the fool and the magician. The fool starts the major arcana, it's been through all the lessons of the major arcana, and starts over with a clean slate. You see that zero there, the fool? You start fresh, you start clean, you start with a clean slate, a new leap of faith, the sun behind you, success, yeah. Success, victory, happiness, and joy. And then manifesting a brand new beginning there with one with the alchemist, which is the magician, which is a manifesting a brand new beginning, using swords for truth and clarity, wants for passion, 
and you know go-getter type of energy and then cups for you know love emotions compassion and the pentacles which you came out here as the queen as very structured and stable and manifesting a brand new beginning for yourself with a queen slate as the abundant queen of pentacles taurus wow wow good for you you have one magician new beginnings new beginning <clears throat> i can't talk tonight with the ace of cups wow something divinely guided for you feeling full of love and compassion for life for yourself this is divine love within yourself the energy around you wow so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck so now we have the prince of pentacles so this is the knight of pentacles so you know take very slow uh, movement here but dedicated effort hard work moving forward and taking that action being very stable and grounded your energy and the prince of swords so <clears throat> now we have two knights here so this is rushing in rushing forward truth clarity cutting away things not serving standing up for yourself be careful you don't have a brash and harsh attitude sometimes this prince can uh, be cutting with their words and not really mean it so be careful with that energy but now we have the king of cups so this is having not only value with the queen of pentacles but that self-love self-worth feeling unconditional love again compassionate loving nurturing caring and giving once again moving forward five of wands this is conflict but, you know, I think you're overcoming conflict of the past, you know, things that uh, happened, overcoming that. Because now you have the Nine of Pentacles, which is like the minor of the Empress. So being, again, stable, secure, grounded. You know, making your pentacles, being abundant and successful, standing on your own two feet and taking care of yourself. Yep. Overcoming conflict with love compassion caring and giving nurturing energy moving and rushing forward truth clarity and taking that dedicated movement action forward as you progress on here wow so let's see i have to put this something put that there so let's get some extra messages for you taurus the first half of October extra messages for Taurus first half of October wow big big shift change for you Taurus moving forward brand new beginning divinely guided staying committed putting in the hard work wow big big transformation and change here butterflies are all about transformation also all right change and transformation Ur Uranus is all about change also all right what do we have for Taurus health what wow. <laughs> I can't make this up oh my god I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul health <laughs> I can't make it up I can't wow what else do we have for Taurus what else do we have for Taurus what else do we have for Taurus Spirit, please? Thank you so much. Happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. You're on your right path to happiness in this big transformation and change. Wow. Can we get one more? One more. Taurus. Balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world. And I do so without judgment. So being very balanced and moving forward. And bringing harmony, peace, balance, and harmony. As with the Ace of Cups there. The star energy. Manifesting a brand new beginning. Wow. Okay, let's see what's on the bottom. Blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. Exactly. And you have done that. And now you've made the changes. you made the transformation. And now you're moving forward. Wow. Wow, Taurus. Okay, if this didn't resonate for you, you can check the description box below. 
for past playlist and maybe something there will resonate for you i would say watch it anyway disregard the dates i do consider them all timeless so best of luck to you here in your situation keep on this positive movement forward and i'm sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say with my channels with the sun energy here so always always shine your light